Hello today's video we have the following content. Liu Guangyin is not all Zhang Han's fault. The cast is poor, the costumes are low quality and the logic is confusing. I was cheated again. I have seen clips, and many people have posted online to say that Liu Guangyin is a female-oriented drama, the heroine is powerful and does not get bullied, and Zhu Zudin is the new princess of Palm in the domestic entertainment industry. When she just crossed over and was framed, the heroine Han Zikin directly took off her mother's clothes and put them on herself, escorted her all the way back to the prime minister's mansion and called people to confront her in public. When the elder sister pretended to be innocent and cried and said it was all her fault, she directly affirmed it in action, slapped her to the ground, and said, yes, it's all your fault. Then the elder sister continued to pretend to apologize and said it was all her fault, and she could beat or scold her. The heroine once again fulfilled her wish and slapped her again. How many people were attracted to watch this drama by this unaggrieved slapping clip, and then found out that the heroine is not in love, and is not interested in the hero's domineering precedent, and only wants to go home. For example, when the two jumped off a cliff together, the first thing the heroine did after waking up was not to hug the hero and cry in love for no reason, but to draw a sword in front of her and pray to travel back home, while the hero was lying dead behind her. This kind of heroine made some people criticize other dramas, saying that the setting of the heroine is definitely cooler than the previous Mo Yu Yun Jian, and she never wronged herself. The only shortcoming is the hero. It would be better if the hero's mask was always welded on his face. I don't deny that the drama Liu Guangyin discouraged many people because the male lead was played by Zhang Han. Basically, the comments were complaining that it would be more popular if someone else played the role. They were fed up with Zhang Han's gracie always domineering CEO-style personality and acting skills, as well as that unhandsome face. Zhang Han has been severely complained in recent years, and his reputation has plummeted after East District 8. However, the popularity of this drama is not high, and it is not entirely Zhang Han's fault. The male lead is not very good, but the female lead is beautiful, but her acting skills are average. Sometimes her mouth is very distracting, not to mention that the supporting roles are more outrageous than each other, and the performances are superficial. It's okay to distinguish who is good and who is bad, but the key is that it is brainless. Liu Guangyun can be said to be a huge grassroots troupe both inside and outside the drama. The costumes and makeup outside the drama are lame, and the character logic inside the drama is not at all. The emperor is like a treacherous minister, the prime minister's mansion is rogue, and the entire court is like a grassroots troupe with nothing serious to do and staring at trivial matters in the backyard all day long. First of all, didn't the prime minister's mansion have any doubts when seeing the big change in the female lead's personality? The heroine said that she was avenging the original owner, so she just slapped him twice. Where was the fun? Secondly, the emperor only knew some mean means. In order to destroy his son's marriage, he arranged for the queen to drug the heroine and set up a trial with the emperor present. Is this a dynasty or a village committee? What are the two bounty hunters doing in the last shot? The whole background setting of Liu Guangyin is very confusing. The emperor doesn't look like an emperor, and the courtiers don't look like courtiers. The plot is very old-fashioned and tacky, and the low-quality costumes and logic are confusing. I know that this drama is adapted from the novel Poison Pet Mercenary Princess, which is a relatively early work. After the adaptation, it will definitely not be suitable for the local environment and does not conform to the current popular aesthetics. But even the costumes and props are restored to such an early period, which is unique. The cheap studio style, the heroine relied on her appearance to resist, but many people couldn't resist. The daughter of the Prime Minister's mansion doesn't look like a noble, the Prime Minister's wife is a village woman, the Queen looks like a brothel owner, and the male protagonist is even more eye-catching when he appears. Zhang Han is not suitable for ancient costumes, but good costumes and props can save it a little, right? To be honest, those who don't know would think that Liu Guangyin is an old drama that has been shelved for more than 10 years, but it was actually launched in 2021, but it has been shelved for 3 years. Li Guangyin has a long drama investment, but the overall quality is not as good as a short drama. The plot is slow, the side plots are dragged, the costumes and props are low quality, and there are not many good-looking people, and few acting skills are good. So it's not all Zhang Han's fault if this drama is not good. At least Zhang Han's acting skills are not bad, and there will be fewer people complaining because they are discouraged by Zhang Han, v. Next news. Liu Guangyin a refreshing ancient costume drama under the cloak of fantasy.
Li Guangyin premiered, a feast of refreshing ancient costume drama under the cloak of fantasy. When the night fell on August 30th, Tencent Video quietly unveiled the mysterious veil of a new drama Liu Guangyin, and officially entered the audience's field of vision with the heroic attitude of five consecutive episodes. This drama, co-starred by Zhang Han and Zhu Zudin, may make people mistakenly think that this will be another fantasy drama that falls into clichés. However, when the audience went deep into it, after a few episodes, they were pleasantly surprised to find that Liu Guangyin is actually an irresistible ancient costume drama, just like the electronic pickled mustard on the table, which just satisfies the audience's needs for eating. The first impression of Liu Guangyin may be that it is covered with a layer of fantasy cloak because of the interweaving of words such as God of War and Female Lead, which makes people doubtful. But as the plot slowly unfolds, this code is quietly unveiled, revealing the heroine's revenge drama in the ancient world, and the time travel elements are cleverly integrated, adding a touch of fantasy to the story. The heroine played by Zuzudin is a heroic heroine in modern times, with full combat skills, and can be called a martial arts expert. But once she traveled through time, she suddenly became a bullied and down and out woman in the ancient Prime Minister's mansion. From being framed by her sister, oppressed by her stepmother, to the indifferent treatment of her biological father, her situation is miserable. However, it is this adversity that inspires the heroine's inner strength, allowing her to start the road of counterattack after traveling through time. From weakness to strong counterattack, every scene is exciting. Liu Guangyun not only satisfies the audience's love for the theme of female revenge, but also makes a careful layout in terms of storytelling. Although the plots of revenge and poisoning seem old-fashioned, the screenwriter cleverly integrates them into the growth trajectory of the hero and heroine, creating a series of seemingly insurmountable obstacles for the two. As the plot progresses, the hero and heroine fight side by side and cheat all the way. Especially the hero, who is set as a powerful fighter with explosive combat power, and the heroine quickly grows into a force that cannot be ignored after crossing. This setting of two strong coexistence makes the whole series full of the breath of ancient costumes, as if every battle has aroused layers of ripples in the hearts of the audience. However, although Liu Guangyin is remarkable in the plot, the performance of the actors has become the focus of heated discussion among the audience. As the male protagonist, Zhang Han's performance style has always been controversial. In Liu Guangyin, although the greasy feeling is weakened to a certain extent through dubbing, in the actual performance, Zhang Han still finds it difficult to get rid of the inherent performance mode, which makes the audience feel a little regretful. Although Zhu Zudin's performance also has highlights, it is slightly inferior in the rivalry with her sister. Especially in some scenes that need to show strong emotional conflicts, Zhu Zudin's performance seems a bit overwhelmed and fails to fully interpret the inner world of the character. However, despite the shortcomings of the performances of the hero and heroine, the overall quality of Liu Guangyun has not been greatly reduced. On the contrary, with its compact plot, exciting fighting scenes and fascinating revenge storyline, Liu Guangyun has successfully attracted the attention of a large number of viewers. For many viewers, watching TV series is not just about pursuing profound connotations or superb acting skills, but more about seeking a relaxing and pleasant viewing experience. Liu Guangyun is such a drama that allows people to find a moment of relaxation in their busy lives. It uses thrilling battles and exciting revenge plans to weave one wonderful story after another for the audience. In summary, as a refreshing costume drama, Liu Guangyun showed its unique charm at the time of its premiere. Although the performances of the male and female protagonists are still flawed, the flaws do not cover the merits. Liu Guangyun still won the love of the audience with its wonderful plot and fascinating storyline. In the future, as the plot develops in depth, Liu Guangyun may bring us more surprises and touches. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 